This one's a 500 gig. This one's a one terabyte. I got a couple more Seagate one terabytes over there. Are you tired of high S3 storage costs and want more control over your data? Then stick around because today I'm gonna to show you how to set up your own S3 storage service. Now, why would you wanna do this? Tell me. Well, services such as AWS or Wasabi will charge you based on how much data you store in their S3 buckets. The more you store, the more you pay. And that's how they get you. It's a trap. They lure you in with free trials, knowing that once you start using their services, it's very unlikely you're going to switch providers. So in this video, I'll guide you through the process of hosting your own S3 storage system using MinIO with the help of CloudRun. With MinIO, you're getting strong encryption, ensuring your data is protected. It's also scalable. So as your storage needs grow, MinIO grows with you. Plus, it is compatible with the S3 API, making it easy to integrate with various applications and services. So for our setup, you're going to need a VPS or a computer to install CloudRun on. And once CloudRun is set up, we'll use it to deploy our hosted MinIO service. If you don't have a CloudRun server set up, you can watch my video here where I explain how to install it on a VPS. If you have a desktop computer that you're not using and maybe you've got some extra storage space, maybe a couple of these old bad boys lying around that you're not using, God knows I've got plenty of them, then what you can easily do instead of using a VPS is you can install CloudRun on that desktop computer uh, to basically turn it into your own little home server and you can then be running CloudRun truly in a self-hosted manner where you're not just self-hosted on the software side but you're self-hosted on the hardware side as well and then what you could do is you could install CloudRun maybe on one of these drives that you pop into that computer and then you can deploy the apps and then what you can even do is take an extra one of these put that in the computer as well and then that would allow CloudRun to make a backup of itself onto the other drive. One of the things I really like about self-hosting is that you're in charge. Yeah, come in charge. You're in charge of all your data, your hardware, how it's set up, how it's managed, and you don't have to abide by any terms and conditions. Freedom! Or corporate policies, and you're not part of the matrix. If you've got the hardware, you can do it, and it won't cost you anything extra. Where were we? Once your CloudRun is ready, head to the App Store and deploy MinIO effortlessly. In just a few clicks, you will have MinIO installed on your own server. Now, setting MinIO up is quite simple. First, you'll need to go to Access Keys to create an access and secret key. These are the credentials your websites and apps will use to connect with your MinIO server. Then go to buckets to create your first bucket. Now, depending on your use case, you may want to turn on features such as versioning, which allows you to keep multiple versions of the same object under the same key. In my case, I'm using a WordPress plugin called Updraft Plus to make daily backups of my WordPress websites to my MinIO server. That plugin is handling the version and data retention policies for me, so I keep these features turned off in MinIO. You would need to see what applies in your use case. If you have a website running on WordPress, then I highly, highly recommend you consider Updraft Plus for your backups. It really is a safety net for your website. It allows you to schedule automatic backups, meaning you can set it and forget it, and you can store these backups on your MinIO server. So even if something goes wrong, you can restore your website back with just a few clicks. I will leave a link to this in the description below. Let me know what you're going to do with your MinIO S3 server in the comments below. The possibilities are truly endless. And speaking of possibilities, did you know you can host multiple WordPress websites on a single VPS? Imagine having 10 WordPress websites and only paying $6.50 per month. If you want to learn how I do this, click on the screen and I'll see you in the next video.